Okay, so we've got the majority of the gun modeled, and what we want to do now is start on the rigging. But before we actually start, I want to go over a couple of things so that we can have a better understanding of constraints and how they work, and how we can use the target tag, which is also considered a constraint, and how we can use it in order to rig this gun. Now, I've been accustomed to using Cactus Dan's plugins and he has a plugin CD constraints and that's what I have uh, been accustomed to using now for a while and one of his constraints in this uh, plugin is called the aim constraint and it is exactly the same thing that the target tag that Cinema 4D has it's basically the same thing the only difference is the name Cinema 4D calls it the target tag Cactus Dan calls it the aim constraint but it's basically the same thing you're just taking one object and you are aiming it to focus on another object and no matter where that second object moves the object that has the tag will always aim in the direction of that object so what I've got here is an example and you don't actually have to do this all you need to do is watch and uh, I'm going to go over some ideas of how the aim constraint can be used so I've got a pyramid and I've got a sphere and what I want to do is I want this pyramid the point which is the top point of the pyramid here I want it to point or aim and I want to constrain it to aim towards this sphere and then I want to take the sphere and be able to move it so what we do is we give it a target tag we give the pyramid a target tag however if we do this there's going to be a problem and the problem is that Cinema 4D uses the z-axis for targeting or aiming and the z-axis is represented here by this blue axis handle so that means if I was to give the pyramid a target tag it's already targeted in the direction of the sphere so what I want to do is I want to take this uh, blue handle here for the z-axis and I want to rotate it up so that it's pointing in the same direction as the tip of this pyramid that way when I give it the target tag the pyramid will flip over and point towards the sphere so in order to do this you have to have your object editable so we'll make the pyramid editable and then we'll go to the object axis tool and we'll go to that mode we'll grab the rotate tool and we want to rotate this up 90 degrees and we'll get out of that object axis tool now and now you can see that the blue handle is pointing straight up so now we want to right click on the pyramid go to cinema 40 tags target and here we have two link boxes here the first one is the target object and the second one is the up vector well right now all I want to demonstrate is the target so we want to take the sphere because that's going to be our target and drop that in the target object link and now suddenly our pyramid has flipped over and is now pointing at the sphere so now if we take our sphere and we move it around you can see that the pyramid is always targeting in the same direction directly at the center of the sphere so what if we want to continue to constrain our pyramid or better yet what I'll do is I'll just grab another object so I'm going to delete the pyramid and I'm going to create a cylinder and I'm going to scale the cylinder up and flatten it out a little bit okay now let's just say for this example that this grid here represents the ground and here we have our cylinder which is sitting flat on the ground now if I was to give this cylinder a target tag and place the sphere as the target and we start to move the sphere well this cylinder here is no longer sitting flat on the ground it's actually kind of moving around it's kind of moving around as if it's sitting there kind of wobbling when our target is moving around now that's not really going to work because what if I want to constrain this cylinder to always sit flat on the ground but I want it to rotate around the y-axis notice that the y 
is up in Cinema 4D. So I want it to rotate around the y-axis while still targeting this sphere, but I don't want this cylinder to move and bob around like that. I want it to always lay flat on the ground. Well, the way we do this is by switching things around and using an up vector. So here we have our sphere, and I'm gonna just going to call this target. And what we have to do is we have to introduce a third object into the scene in order to use the third object as the main target. And we'll use this sphere as the up vector. So let me just show you what I mean here. So let's I'm just going to place a null object in here. And I'm going to place it directly below this cylinder. Now I'm going to take the cylinder, I'm going to delete the target tag for the time being, and I'm just going to zero out all of its properties. So now it is sitting on the ground, it's sitting flat on the ground. And I, I always want to keep it flat on the ground, I don't want it to move around, I only want to rotate it in the heading value to follow and target the sphere, but I don't want it to move, I just want it to rotate, I want to keep it flat. So in other words, I just want it to rotate around the y-axis which is the heading value. So to do that, we need to target this cylinder down to target this null object that we have down here. So to do that, we need to make the cylinder editable. And now what I have to do, I'm just going to zero out this again for the heading. And we've got to go back to the object axis tool. And I need to rotate this down so that the Z axis is pointing 90 degrees down at the null object that's below. And I'm just going to change the shading here so we can see this a little better. So now what I can do is I can give the cylinder a target tag. And now I can place this null object as the target. So now this z-axis is always going to point, be pointing straight down, which means that now the cylinder is going to stay flat on the ground and it's no longer going to wobble about. It's always going to stay flat. And now what we can do is for the up vector, we can take the main target, which is the sphere, and drop it into the link as the up vector. And now when we take our target sphere and we move it around, we have it rotating, but if we rot if we take this sphere and we move it up, the, the cylinder on the ground no longer moves. It stays flat, but at the same time, it's targeting the sphere. So the sphere is going up and down and side to side, but the cylinder is staying on the ground while still targeting the sphere. And just to show you what I mean, I will take this, uh, let's see, let's take the cylinder And what I want to do is just grab some of these points here, just to show you what I'm talking about. So we'll take those points. I'm just going to pull those out. That'll be acting as the arrow to give you the general direction that the cylinder is pointing in. So you can see here that it is pointing at the sphere. But when we move the sphere, you can see that it is targeting the sphere, but it's staying on the ground. So we are basically constraining this cylinder to stay on the ground and to aim in the general direction of the sphere. So now we can use this idea and employ it in our minigun. But before we do, we have to set up our axis handles to be oriented correctly for the minigun. And we also need to clean up the object manager and make some parent and child uh, hierarchies in the object manager. So now what we need to do is determine uh, where exactly is this gun going to be rotating at and how many rotational points does the gun have. So I can tell you right now that I already know that it has two rotational points. There are only two places that this gun is going to be moving. The first one is the pitch point, which is here. And this is only going to be moving in the pitch value. And the second point 
is going to be this base cylinder here and that is only going to be moving in the heading value which is spinning round and round. Of course it's not going to be pitching that doesn't look right and neither is it going to be banking. So we have two places that are going to be moving. So what we need to determine is first of all this pitch point. When this pitch point moves what else is going to be moving with it? So we've got basically the entire gun assembly with the ammo box is going to be moving. So we need to grab the ammo box, the bracket, the cylinders, the barrels, the main body, the tip. All of these things are going to be moving when that pitch point moves. So we need to take all of these and we need to drop them into the pitch point object like so. Now when we take that pitch point and we move it in the pitch value, now the whole gun moves. The next thing we need to do is set this up so that when this base cylinder here or the base stand object rotates that everything up above it is going to rotate with it. So to do that we'll just grab the pitch point, the two brackets, and we'll drop them in as a child of the base stand. And I'm going to take this pitch point and just bring it up here as the first child. So now when we rotate the base stand object, now the gun and everything up above the base stand along with the base stand rotates. So now we need to employ our up vector target constraint to the gun. Before we do that, we need to create a target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null object. I'm going to go to a side view and take the null object and bring it out here, out in front of the gun. Now, if we deselect this null object, you'll notice there's a tiny white dot there, and that is the visual selection or the visual representation of the null object. So if you want to select it, you have to select the null in the object manager, or you have to select the tiny dot in the viewport. Well, sometimes that can be a little frustrating, so what I like to do is change the uh, visual representation. So we'll click on the null, and let's double click it. I'm going to call this main target. And if we go into the object tab, we need to change the uh, display here from dot to cube. And we need to change the orientation to XZ. And it's a little small right now, so we want to take the radius up to about maybe 75. Now that's going to make it a whole lot easier to select. Now all you have to do is just select this cube. But I kind of want to change the color because this dull gray white color is a little dull. And I want something that stands out that will get my attention. So we'll go to the basic tab and we'll use color here. The default is set to off. So we want to turn that on to always. And if you click the color palette, what we'll get is a color picker. and Usually I like to either go with a bright red or in this case what I'll do is I'll just pick a blue color. And now there is our visual representation for our target. And what that means is that no matter where this target is at, the gun is always going to be pointed and aimed at this target. So now let's set up our target constraint, otherwise known as an aim constraint. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the constraint for the base. So to do that we need to take the base and we need to set up the object axis to point down. Remember the example that I gave you in the other scene file here with this uh, cylinder sitting flat. Well obviously the same goes with the minigun. We want this to always remain flat and only rotate in a heading type value and we don't actually want it to wobble about but we do want it to turn. So what we want to do is take the base stand and select it, go to the object axis tool and the z-axis is currently pointing down. So that's not, I mean it's currently pointing backwards and that's not going to work. So we, what we do want to do is take it and point it down. Now if we rotate that down this Y handle which is going to be used for the up vector is going to be pointing in reverse. So keep that in mind it needs to be pointing forward towards the target 
because the y will be determining the up vector. So what we want to do is rotate this down first. So be sure you're in object axis tool mode and we'll use the rotate tool and we want to rotate this down 90 degrees and I'm just going to go to the move tool here real quick and you notice that now the handle is pointing down which is correct but the Y handle we need it facing forward we don't want it pointed in reverse it has to go in the same direction as the targeting or the main target object is so we'll go to the rotate tool and we just want to rotate the whole thing to point forward 180 degrees. So we'll exit out of that object, uh, the uh, object axis tool. Now that is set up correctly. So now what we can do is give that base stan a target tag. And what we need to determine here is what is below this base stand that we can use for the target to keep it always targeted down and of course right below this base stand we have this cube here so there's the cube so what we want to do is go to the target tag for the base stand and the main target object is going to be the cube which is directly below the base stand and now we want to take the main target object and we want to place that in the up vector link Okay, so now what we want to do is set up the object axis for the gun. So we'll click on the pitch point, and of course it's rotated the wrong way. So we'll choose the rotate tool, object axis tool, and we'll constrain this to 5 degree increments by holding shift, and we'll just rotate that around 180 degrees. We'll get out of that mode, and now we can right click on the pitch point, give it a target tag, and we need to get the main target object in there as the target object. And now when we click on the main target and we move it around, now the gun moves with it. However, you'll notice the gun flips. Notice here on this portion of the gun where the ammo box is, you see how it's flipping? And that's because we need to use an up vector and this will just give us it will give the constraint a general direction in which uh, basically it's telling it which way is up to keep it from flipping so we need to select let's select uh, just something like the cube and we'll just choose a null object and we'll alt click that to center it and we'll take that out and now this null object we're just going to call this up vector and we need to bring that up above the gun like so and then we can just take the target tag for the pitch point and take that up vector to the up vector link now when we grab the main target and move it about now the gun does not flip so there we have our tracking mini gun and it is tracking everything looks good it is rotating and we can go to a top view and let's change the shading here and there is our gun targeting the target object okay so now since we have that set up what we want to do now is move over to setting up some switches in order to get the gun to be automated but I already can tell that I'm coming up on 20 minutes now so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and stop this and in the next part we're going to get started with some espresso work because we're going to set up some switches and we're going to build some controllers so that we can actually click some buttons in order to get this gun to start spinning and that's going to keep us from having to make a ton of keyframes so uh, we'll continue in the next part